Hi, welcome back to Doug's Patient Workshop. So today, it's the end of season and I'm making some fun stuff just for myself right now. And we're looking at some stuff that we can be doing for Christmas and the holidays. So if you're looking for something fun, simple project, a clock. Now this cool clock is a steampunk clock that I picked up off of Etsy. The art, there's no art review on the computer for this one. The art was awesome. Very clean lines, beautiful, nothing janky in the art. Only two issues with the art that I had. One, it's tiny. I made this the actual size that the artist had it. And while it fits the hands well, it is a tiny, tiny clock. Um, I think if I do this again, I would definitely go bigger and make my own set of hands that would make this work a whole lot better. The other issue was the centerpiece where the mechanics go through was not even close to any mechanics you can buy. So you have to change the center of the mechanics hole to meet what your clock mechanics are. Now I'll pull, throw a link down below for the mechanics that I bought. Mine actually tick when it goes because I think that's kind of cool, but you can get ones that don't tick as well. Now assembling in the mechanics is really simple. It's just a couple of screws. You just slide the hands on and there's another nut you screw on there. Very simple, anybody can do this. Really fun project. Couple layers of painted pieces. Obviously I'll have some pictures over here on the sides for you as I'm going. The only issue that I did have is that I broke a piece out here that you'll see is the wrong color. I gotta go back and touch that up. If you've never touched up spray paint, cause you can see it didn't get a good coating on it cause I had to lay it down and spray paint it. You can just spray, shoot some spray paint on the surface take a paintbrush and just dab it over the surface. So I can touch that up without having to spray the whole surface here. So that's not gonna be a big deal to touch up that little number there. And there's no inside outside lines. And I definitely recommend doing some inside outside lines because the first two layers on this are very delicate and the numbers on this are very delicate. As you can see, I did break out one of the numbers here so I recommend changing your inside outside lines before you run this project. If you can't do that, ask someone else in the group and I'm sure they will help you get that done. There are lots of clock files by the person who made this art and I will send him a link telling him about this video and ask him to come down and comment down below with a link to his Etsy shop. This was a fun, fun project and a great time to do this stuff It's Christmas is coming. I think this was, I think I got all three of these pieces on a sheet and a half of wood with plenty of room around it to run on the projects. Great project, minimal wood, and very low cost. All right, guys, go check this one out. Have some fun. Go make some fun gifts or make something fun for yourself this year. Steampunk clock for me. Remember, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.